Welcome in the hands-on Scala programming course. My name is Tomasz Szelek and I am a software engineer programming mostly in Java and Scala. I am a fan of microservices architecture and functional programming. I was creating microservices and big data processing in Scala language. So let's see what we will learn throughout this course. In the first section, there will be a getting started with Scala. So we will set up our project and learn basics. Then we'll delve into standard Scala library. We'll be looking at the functions, options, case classes, objects, tuples, and more. In the section number three, we'll be looking at the control structures, packages, and imports. We'll be focusing on pattern matching. Section four will be about collections and immutability. So we'll be experimenting with all collections available in Scala. Fifth section will be about more advanced concepts. That is an implicit keyword. This is very good concept if you want to have code that is extensible and very clever. Section six will be about type level programming and this will focus on the functional aspects of Scala. And finally, in section number seven, we'll be doing parallelism and concurrency in Scala. There are a couple of prerequisites of this course, so you need to have an understanding of Java, IntelliJ ID installed, modern laptop or desktop as well. And this course is for programmers who are familiar with at least one programming language and want to get started with Scala in a fast and effective way. And familiarity with Java will be useful, but not mandatory. So let's go to the key features. So firstly, you will get the practical experience with everything you need to know to create your own Scala project. Then you will be writing performant and easy maintainable code by leveraging immutability and concurrency constructs from Scala. Third feature is that you will be able to make the best use of functional programming constructs in Scala to create robust and concurrent applications. So let's go to the first section, getting started with Scala.